Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard the old TikTok viral videos. Yes, I saw a chicken, somebody else was talking about it, and they did it, and they said it was really good. A chicken pot pie cobbler. So we're going to try it out. Why not? I mean, that's what I'm here for. We're going to turn it into an air fryer recipe. You guys ready? I love chicken pot pie. I love it. So we're going to do that. We'll see. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. Okay, so we're using the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLong. Of course. Bottom burner. Check it out. All right. So let me start my phone here. All right. So let's melt a uh, half a stick of butter. And my butter is unsalted. So just keep that in mind, okay? I'm not going to add uh, salt, but I'll add something else. You'll see. So let's melt this down for a little bit. Okay, this thing goes to a uh, casserole, so that's what I'm going to do. Number three, sounds good. Bottom light's on. Don't worry about that time. We'll see how much uh, time elapsed if I add more time or whatever. Okay, so let's melt that butter first. All right, we'll be back. All right, so here we go. That butter's melted, okay? About two minutes it took. All right, so here I've got two cups of shredded chicken, okay? You could do turkey with this. It'll work too. Whoops, whoops. Spread that out. That's beautiful, huh? By the way, this is the five quart uh, air fryer. All right, so here I have a can of cream of chicken soup. Let me move this aside here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a cup and a half of broth, but I don't buy broth, I make broth. So this is a cup, of half, a cup and a half of water and a packet of this, all right? This is what it looks like when you get it at the store. Walmart has it for a buck thirty something or whatever. I'm just gonna put that in there. Oh, it's delicious. It's the closest thing to what I get in Canada. Mix that up. Put that over top of the chicken. Oof, let me get my angle right here. Like I said, turkey would work with this. There we go. Okay, move stuff aside here. Now my vegetables are steamed, but they, they, it doesn't matter if they was just frozen. So that's what I'm using. So 12 ounce bag, I think. Yeah, 12 ounce bag. Uh, it's got corn and carrots and green beans and stuff, so that's what I wanted. Still frozen. There we go. All right, so over here, we're gonna mix in the biscuit stuff, okay? So with the biscuit stuff, it comes in a packet, right? This. You're not going to use this whole thing. You're just going to use half of it. So I've got two cups of milk. Okay. Like that. The bag of the mix. Did I even show you the box? There you go. See that? Okay, put that all in there. And half of this, okay? We're gonna need the other half for something else to brush the topping. All right, okay. So on top of the vegetables, I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Mix that up. See, my, my onion powder is uh, the real deal. Like, I dehydrated your onions and, and my Excalibur. And... Okay, so sprinkle that on top. Teaspoon each. Perfect. Now, this is my pepper. Okay, my pepper. It's got a little salt and some pepper. It's a little spiciness. So I'm going to put that on there. Beautiful. All right, so let's mix this up. Okay. 
Okay, so it's got cheese in there, but I'm gonna put some more cheese. What did I do with my cheese? It's still in the fridge. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna mix this up and I'll be back. All right, so I've got some cheddar cheese here. I'm gonna put probably like a good half a cup, a little bit more. Mix that up. All right, so then you put that on top. Wowzers. Wowzers. All right, so let's start cooking, shall we? Back to casserole and it resumes. So I'm gonna put probably 40 minutes. And it's not a high setting. It's like you could bump it up a notch. I don't think it's gonna hurt, but I want those biscuits and everything to cook up, okay? So we'll be back. We're not done yet. You guys, executive executive decision i'm gonna bump it up to the highest setting not a big difference but it'll cut down the time a little bit so i've got two tablespoons of melted butter here and i'm going to put the rest of this packet in there so we're going to have like a seasoned butter on top yeah what's there not to love it looks delicious it smells so good and we got five minutes left so let's mix this up Okay. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. And let's just brush the top with this. Holy cow. Jesus, it smells so good. And we're gonna cook it for the last five minutes just like this. That's a beautiful color. More butter, more better. And the bottom burner has been on the whole time. So again, if you don't have the bottom burner, don't worry about it. It's just going to take a little bit longer, okay? So we'll keep it going. We'll be back. Guys, we're at the end. What? Look at that. Hang on. Let me zoom you in here. Whoa. Look at that. We're going to let that cool. And I'm gonna scoop it out and taste it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So we'll be back, you guys. I'll scoop some of this out. I waited about 50 minutes. That's all I could wait. Freaking starving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Holy smokes, huh? Look at that beautiful mess. It's still piping hot, but I am going to get a fork and taste it for you guys. We'll be back. Look at that. That's comfort food right there. I don't care what you say. So I should have let it sit a little bit longer. It's starting to settle. I mean, this is just beautiful. Look at this. Buttery and creamy and it's, it's hot, but it's going to settle down. Um, do not increase the broth. That's perfect. You just give it a minute to sit. You, you need that broth to cook that biscuit stuff. So, oh my gosh, my mouth is watering, you guys. Whew. There's no possible way this is so delicious. Wow. That is outstanding. That slap your mama in there. That's the key. Mm. You see how easy that was? Listen, you don't have to have this air fryer. You can do it in yours. But lower the temp, okay? Not everything in the air fryer has to be cooked on full blast. Take your time. Probably take about an hour, but it's worth it. This is really nice. At Walmart, I can't remember, a couple bucks, between two and three bucks, I think it was. But it's freaking nice. All right. So it's quick and easy. I mean, you get home from work, put it all together, put it in the air fryer, you know, an hour, done. Um, rotisserie chicken, if you in a bind, canned chicken, it's always good. This is delicious, you guys. I'm glad I... Uh, 
Somebody tagged me on Facebook about it. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate you guys shopping. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.